Good morning, dear students of grade 9. You are welcome to the new lesson, Weather Instruments. Dear students, in this lesson, in this text, you will know about different types of weather instruments. Different weather instruments. Thermometer is used to measuring temperature. Uh, barometer is used to measure atmospheric pressure. Uh, so in this way, you will know, you will talk about, you will learn about different types of okay instruments but i will focus on exercises and i will help you do the exercises the students complete the sentences with the appropriate words from the text above so number one most of the fm stations broadcast the news at seven so here in the text above you will find the word stations so here most of the fm stations b the function of a converter is to convert the change of temperature into numerical numbers so B converter. C the earth is wrapped by the atmosphere. Wrapped. You will find this word highlighted in the text above. D. The amount of water in the year is called precipitation. Precipitation. Now E. The wind vane is also known as weather cock. Weather cock. Now choose the correct answer. How did people get the weather information until the 18th century? Through their physical senses through their physical senses. Dear students, if you have any confusion with the text, uh, please write in the comments. I will okay, translate the text into simple words if you need. Now, B, which one of the following parameters is the latest one, new one? This is digital parameter is the latest one, modern one. Now see, what are, does a parameter measure? A parameter measures atmospheric pressure atmospheric pressure i told you now d which one of uh, which of the following devices is, is not used to get weather information so uh, galvanometer and anemometer they are used to get weather information but thermometer is not used okay thermometer is used to measure temperature so the answer is thermometer now e which of the following devices is used to measure the speed of the wind so speed of the wind is measured by anemometer Anemometer, okay, anemometer. Now, these students, look at. Okay, now let's do the questions, okay, and find the answer. Let's uh, let's do the answer. Uh, let's answer this question. What is an alcohol fill thermometer most used? What is an alcohol fill thermometer mostly used? Uh, the alcohol fill thermometer is mostly used in the region, in the area where the temperature can drop below minus thirty-five degrees Celsius. So, dear students, so an alcohol fill thermometer is used to measure the temperature minus 35 degrees Celsius. So, it is used in the very cool region. You can write. Or the answer is the, alco uh, the alcohol fill thermometer is mostly used in the region, in the area, in the place where the temperature can drop below minus 35 degrees Celsius. Now, we what is a barometer used for? Okay, dear students, a barometer is used for measuring atmospheric pressure a barometer is used for measuring atmospheric pressure now see what are the two kinds of hygrometer hygrometer let's see let's see a hygrometer the two kinds of hygrometer are dry and wet hygrometers and mechanical hygrometer these are the two kinds of hygrometer students okay see your uh, uh, they are dry and wet ball hygrometers and a mechanical hygrometer. Now, now next one is okay. Give uh, two examples of an of how an anemometer gives information about the weather. So example is asked here. Okay, you can do it this way. An anemometer gives information about the speed of the wind. You know, uh, anemometer is used to okay find this uh, it gives information about the speed of the wind if the speed of the uh, speed of the wind is high it indicates a storm if the speed of the wind is high it indicates a storm the information helps us to protect ourselves from the natural disasters That's, these are the two of the uses now dear students uh, let's do next one okay next one is Name the device that is used to measure the changes in weather conditions. So devices which are used to measure. What is the device which is used to measure the changes in weather condition? 
A wind van. A wind van is used to measure the changes in weather condition. A wind van. Next one F. What precaution is should be taken while using a rain gauge? Rain gauge. The rain gauge must be placed at an open place without any obstacle. Okay. So the rain gauge must be placed at an open place without in any obstacle. Similarly, uh, rain gauge uh, cannot walk okay, during a weekend. This is also precaution. Okay. So uh, the one of the precautions is it must be placed at an open place without any obstacle. Now, dear students, let's do the next exercise. It's a grammar. Okay, dear students, see here. So here, I see the following sentences into the indirect speech. He said, "Don't use any ca my camera." He said, or he said, "Not to use his camera." Or you can also write. He said, "He told me." Also, you can write. Okay. Uh, you can also write uh, answer okay uh, he told me not to use his camera you can write uh, either uh, okay you can write either one he told me not to use his camera or he said not to use his camera now b the doctor said give up smoking the doctor advised me to give up smoking you know advised doctor gives advice so you can write this or you can also see the doctor suggested uh, giving up smoking you can also write what the doctor you can also write the doctor doctor suggested okay that uh, you can write, I should be give uh, of smoking okay you can write either the doctor says to that I should give up smoking or the doctor advised me to go to give up smoking both are correct now don't touch the wire the electrician said to me the electrician told me not to touch the wire the electrician told me not to touch the wire or the electrician forbade me not to touch the wire don't say not to okay if you use the word forbade forbade but you will put it even came on but this is already negative for you you know this is why not to leave it okay now d could you explain number four please okay dear students now could you explain okay here you can write uh uh this the student requested the teacher to explain number four here the student asked the teacher or requested please is here please say yeah? this kindly the student requested the teacher to explain number four right in this way now the student okay let's do next one don't worry about it mrs sresta said mrs sresta uh okay she said miss she said to mrs sresta so she told mrs sresta not to worry about it she said mrs sresta uh, not to worry about it or you can say she uh, convinced mrs sresta not to worry about it she convinced okay? she convinced mrs sresta not to worry about it so you can write uh, okay either uh, answer. Now finish the job. The next one is finish this job in an hour. So here he told me to finish that job. This is changing to that. Okay. He told me to finish that job in an hour. Or he ordered me to finish that job in an hour. Ordered me. Okay, these friends. Now Amrita said to me, please help me. So please, when I say we should use request report to Amrita requested me to help. R. Okay, dear students, if you have any confusion, you can ask me. It's uh, a report which you have to, uh, if you want to know um, in detail, you can write in the comments. I will make a very a separate video about the rules, about the techniques of sending into an indirect speech. Now, dear students, let's choose the correct answer only. Now, see here. Okay, dear students. Uh, okay, here. Complete the following sentences uh, with the correct alternatives from the brackets. Anju said that. So, yeah, Anju said that and Tala uh, Yanuta, the DV for Sai, you know, we know uh, this is the contest here, okay. The DV for, uh, you can see here, the DV for Paisa keeps you in the Parsa. Sorry, excuse me, Kyunsa. Anju uh, said that CR Sinunsa, okay. CR Sin, because already kills you, simple past tense, okay. So Anju said to me, uh, okay, here, uh, 
ये क्यों होना पड़ा सा सी सॉ द एक्सीडेंट एक्सीडेंट यस्टरडे वहीं को बारा मिली ये लाइक इंडिग्री स्पीच में क्यों उनसा मिले एड सीन उनसा ये यो पाल डेरी यस्टरडे थी यहाँ डेरी बिफोर बायो एड सीन बायो यहाँ सॉ थी एड सीन बायो ना बी सी सेज सेज इज यू नो सेज इज के डी स्टूडेंट दिस इज सिंपल प्रेजेंट टेंस सो दैर इज नो टेन्स चेंज टेन्स चेंज होते हैं तो कारण सी कैन डी स्टे दे आर एनी मोर हे सी कैन डी स्टे होने पर्च हाई ये सेज भाई ना सी टीचर टोल अस दैट ओके दिस इज यूनिवर्सल ट्रुथ यू यूनिवर्सल ट्रुथ हो द अर्थ द अर्थ रिवोल्स राउंड द सन ओके दिस इज यूनिवर्सल ट्रुथ चाहिए प्रेजेंटमें हो ना डी परमेश सेर दैट जी हेड डन दिस इज पास टेन्स में हो He had done his homework. Okay, so Parmesh said that. I mean, you know that in uh, in this speech, normally we use present. Uh, we know, we use past tense. You know, past tense. For example, I mean, so he had done his. You know, other options are incorrect. This is the correct answer. The policeman. So policeman order guards. I hear request guards. You know, the policeman order the thief not to move or to hold the thief. But you know, you can write anyone. Now, yeah, my father forbade me, forbade me, call it negative, you know, to spend so much money, to spend, you know, then not to write, you know, my father forbade me to spend so much money, forbade me, you know, I'll stop me, okay, nishadhi gare, you know, didn't allow, you know, the head teacher forbade the students, parents to smoke, on the school premises, on the school premises, okay, dear students, I will, uh, make uh, uh, next I will make uh, the video uh, uh, of uh, uh, unit 12 uh, next time so keep on watching if you have any confusion you can write in the comments thank you for watching bye